Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Some of the finest saltwater fishing to be had anywhere is down south of New Orleans near the Mississippi River's end. But our host is also partial to some other hot spots along the way that he never wants to pass up. One of them, only about 30 minutes south of New Orleans, is the famous Bayou Country near the small town of Lafitte, Louisiana. This area is famous as the base of pirate-turned-patriot Jean Lafitte during the early 19th century. And one could say that it's located right smack in the middle of Cajun country, so you know the fishing there's got to be good. You'll know this is true when you meet Bill's dear friend and guide for today, Tofield Bourgeois. When he opens his mouth and speaks, it'd be impossible to think this personable guy is anything but a 100% bona fide Cajun. Today, Bill and Tofield plan to tempt the choice redfish that reside here using a very popular and productive lure called a Booyah Samurai Blade. Let's climb aboard. Get out of your way. <laughs> well, let me get, there you go. All right, get you down. All right, boy. You feel a little more stout? A little more stout? A little more stout. Oh, yeah. You need the bogeys? Yeah, I think we're gonna bogey him. We're gonna bogey this one. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna cut. A little more stuff. That's a cut up there, ain't he? <laughs> Boy, I'm in a cut up. All right, you gonna bogey? You want me to bogey? He'll calm down. I'll bogey. He'll... See, these just don't open their mouth. Come on, man. You gonna get him? You gonna play with it? He ain't working with you. Is he? Oh, now it. you got something, boy. Now you got something. He did finally open it. There we go. A little more better fish. More. 20, 24 more, inch fish. More better? Yes, indeed. He ate that little. More better. Little mud minnow. Get it out your way. There you go. All right. Another lucky fish, huh? Another lucky fish. <laughs> <laughs> he's lucky. Pretty that, fish, too. He's lucky, that, uh, he's lucky that I ain't caught him in my boat in, in a my different boat. day. Because <laughs> he'd have never seen that water. What again. does more better mean? <laughs> better than the last one? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got Bruno. I got Bruno. You got Bruno. All right. Are we having fun? We having fun, son. In the marsh. In the marsh. Beautiful sky, beautiful day. I would say beautiful people, but I look over and look at you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know better than that. <laughs> He's probably about 26 inch fish. Watch me just bogey him. He don't want to say quit, does no. he? No. He wants you to fight him a little more. There you go. Oh, oh, he's done a death roll, alligator death roll on you. They do that, don't they? <laughs> now, how you talking? Boy, he's a nice red. Yep. Now, you can't get much health in that. Look at him. He's so pumped up. Yeah, he's they are. baiting here right now. You like that bait, no? Like the booyah. There you go, boy. Black and such is. That is the Louisiana color. Should be, uh. No. Okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I like this. Maybe they're, maybe they're further the other way. <laughs> <laughs> maybe further the other way. <laughs> Coming around. Stop oh. that cast to help you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. He's going to the blue waters, huh? 
He's grown too, ain't he? Yeah, he's grown. He be strong, brother. Man. He must have been eating them shrimps. He's eating them shrimps and crawfish, man. That's why he's all buffed up. He's stout. Man. Well, he's still well. Man. He don't know. He get back here. He teach some room. Boy. Mm-mm-mm. And then he's just up and down his bank eating these little crabs and shrimps, man. Liking the booyah. Liking the booyah. You're liking a little mud minnow. I'm thinking he's he's making a decision where he wants to go. Pole. Yeah, we're gonna walk around. Keep him out. Oh, come on, baby. Throw away your bass rods. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, don't you? Throw away your bass rods. <laughs> All right, now let's how, see. How old do you think that fish is right this there? This bad boy right here. How much? I'm saying he's he's probably 28, 29 inches, maybe a little longer. I bet he's about eight years old. How much? He's about eight, eight or nine years old. He's healthy, oh, son. Nice. Healthy. Healthy. Come on, let Paypal Boga grip you. Come on, Lucky. We're going to call him Lucky. Well, I missed it. He call him mouth. Lucky. He's still Lucky. Just if he'll keep his mouth open. I'll keep pressuring you. Tell me I'll give you some slack. I got him that time. There we go, baby. Now we're talking. Down in the bayou. Down in the bayou with tea. Yep. Eating hoghead cheese and crackers. Catching yeah. redfish. You eat hoghead cheese, son? Oh, he <laughs> ate that bait up too, didn't he? <laughs> Down he, in the bayou with Tofield. He ate it like you eat, eating them uh, crawfish and sucking them heads, huh? <laughs> but it, look, look how fat that Jesse is. He is fat. Wow. Woo. Good looking, son. Not a lucky fish. <laughs> He's a pretty one. Mm -mm. You gonna kiss him or something? Whisper in his ear? Look at Nothing? That. Nice. Hello. <laughs> and goodbye. And goodbye, buddy. All right, Daddy. You did a good job, son. Good job. Let me show you the equipment that I'm using today. I'm using one of Quantum's little bait casting reels. It's a little energy. Uh, E-150 performance tune reels, and I've got it on a seven-foot Cabo uh, medium light rod. Got the reel spool with Grand Slam 30-pound test braid, and on the end of that, I've got a 20-inch section of High Seas Quattro Camo fluorocarbon line. Now, what Tofield is using is spinning, and he's got a uh, Cabo 20 on a seven foot Cabo medium light rod with the same weight line and fluorocarbon leader and using the same bait. And boy, these light action rods are the way to go on these size fish. They'll give you all you want. Today's equipment log is sponsored by Lowrance and the all-new Mark and Elite DSi Downscan Imaging Systems. Featuring the photo-like detail of Lowrance Structure Scan, Downscan Imaging goes beyond sonar, making it easier to read and interpret than traditional sonar. attracted to certain banks it's not necessarily the depth it's where the forage is the bait yeah, is. yeah. Huh? It's just like a bass you know how bass is going to take advantage of the current you know weaker fish being brought to them this whole bay right now is draining out of here 
And this is a nice little cove. Perfect setup. You know, it's a windward shore, a current shore. So it's the weaker bait fish, you know, who can't buck the wind, they they up against this bank. The current's blowing through here. So in, any weak bait fish should be right against this bank, and that's where these fish are kind of laying. You know, right against the bank. It's taking advantage of just the bait coming to them. And the thing is, they'll stay until the, when the food runs out, they leave. Which I mean, when the tide changes, they'll, they'll find another spot. So the key is you move around a lot until you find a shoreline. Every spot I pick has a scenario, either wind or current. The thing is, it might take eight or ten scenarios, which I think should be the right at the, that time of day, but it don't mean everyone's going to have fish. So it's that, that old lady walking the casino scenario, you know. Sooner or later, one's going to hit, and that's our game. The Louisiana marshlands near Lafitte are huge. So no matter what time of the year or day of the week, there is no problem with other boats. <laughs> this is a rarity compared to many other Gulf Redfish destinations. Essential to these bountiful marsh sport fishing areas are the estuaries that surround them. The lakes, ponds, canals, passes, and seashores, they all combine to form a rich nursery for the production of healthy redfish. There he is. Whoa! Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, tell us, son, what were you doing? You're jigging and twitching? I was and just barely reeling along. Whop. <laughs> that is one defined, yeah, I got him. When he hits his, I think they hit. <laughs> yeah, what you say, body that's side? one defined, oh, I it's, got it's him. Oh, it's a defined, I got him. ain't, I think I got one. <laughs> well, it ain't no doubt. When, I mean, it's just, When, they, when, when they, they hit, they actually thrust their body sideways. And yeah, when they hit, boom, they throw their body sideways and, you actually got, ooh, woo, that big old white belly. That belly. <laughs> that big old white belly. Is that what you call it, a belly? Big white belly, son. Man, these are all nice fish, nice healthy fish. And, okay. He's going to try to get on the troll motor. All right. Let me, how do you want me to lift it up? Here you come. All right, all right. Oh, look, Ooh, at that. Oh. look at that baby. All right. He's a good one, that toe feel. Yes, sir. Lucky, another lucky fish. And strong. Yeah, I tell you, man, he's so pumped up. His tail's neon blue. Whoa! <laughs> man. Guy? Right. <laughs> you need a fighting belt, son. I'm telling you. You need daddy to wind it in for you. It's too much fish. <laughs> oh, daddy to reel it in for you. Well, daddy really close to the end of the ride tip. You just cane him up. Hey, there's nothing got his mouth closed again. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Come on out from under there, fish. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Red fishing at its best, right here in Lafitte. Yeah. I got him wound up now. Now we're talking, now we're talking. I got him wound up now. That is nice. He is beautiful fish, no scars. So you got him? You playing? You need me to come get it for you? I got it, buddy. Oh, gotcha. man. Look at that fatty. Mm, mm, mm. Well, baby, I'm going to turn oh, you watch loose. It, watch it. I'm going to turn you loose. You're not having relations with my fish over there, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Say bye, baby. Captain Greg Snyder's short cast for today is sponsored by Power Pole. Now in shallow water, you can quickly and quietly stop your boat and keep it securely in place, even in heavy wind and current. Ask your marine dealer for power pole. Some anglers claim they can sniff out the location of bluefish by their smell. Believe it or not, those in the know say they smell like fresh cucumbers. We're not sure they taste like cucumbers, but a lot of people like them, and it's important to note bluefish don't keep well frozen. Their flesh tends to become soft if not eaten soon after they're caught. 
Okay. Ah! Ah! Did one hit you? Yeah, my blade's messed up. I swear I was twitching it. <laughs> I tell you what, you just throw it up there, bang. Yeah. <laughs> Fire it up there and see if you can get one. All right, let's see. I saw another one run. Yeah. Let's see. A little bit smaller guy here. Yeah, baby. He sure banged on it, son. I don't even think I need the bogus on him. He's healthy now. They love this bait. Yes, indeed. Easy, baby. You got him? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. See you. Hold him there, Tofield. <laughs> he got me grabbing the troll motor. Huh? He showed you a little love, a little Bayou love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little Bayou love. Uh, Let me get back here. All right. Can't let Bill have all the fun. Uh. <laughs> Need some help? <laughs> you, almost wrapped around, you almost wrapped around your 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 ride, Leo. <laughs> you almost pulled your ride. I didn't off. want to get around it. <laughs> you almost pulled your bait with that hand in the water. He tried his best to grab a hold to it, son. Bring him on around here, son. All right. And let Daddy. Let Daddy get a hold to Let's get. Get him, Daddy. Oh, I can just get him. Oh, like hey, that. man. Hey, no he's, still, he's still tick. You just, that big one you had make him seem small, but that's still healthy fish, son. 24, 25 inch fish. Mm hmm. Six pounds. You got him hooked good. I don't play. <laughs> you don't play? I don't play like that. Got him? Got him. All right. See you, Buster. Oh, you got me messing with the uh, troll motor, man. <laughs> you got me messing with the troll motor. <laughs> you bet that's the time they'll hit you when you're that's doing something else. That's always the thing. Don't let him wet you up. Don't let him wet you up. <laughs> Whoa! <Got him. laughs> Another chunky. Man, he's like a, out the mold, man. 26 to 29. Y'all are probably 30 inches the one you had. There he is. Got it? Oh, right. I lost. No, he got it again. Oh, he come back. He came back. He got off. Or another one got it. Show Bill what you're made of, son. That's probably 29, 30 inch fish. Huh? I got it. Got it. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Joker. Tell him we're, tell him we're being nice. I want to tell you something. This is so much fun, especially on this light tackle. You know, like I say every week, this is something you can do, and this is a guy that can make it happen. Give him a call. I'll tell you. It's a trip. You'll do time and time again, I can promise you. You come down here one time, you'll want to come back again and again and again. And this is a guy, he's the best, I'm telling you. So easy even Bill can do it. Uh, if, yeah, if I can do it, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> that, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Surf in our email is sponsored by High Seas, providing a wide range of braid, mono, and fluorocarbon lines for all fishing conditions. When the money's on the line, choose High Seas. For more information, visit highseas.net. What's a sea brim, and are they good to eat? Other names for the sea brim are convict fish and donkeys, but most fishermen are more familiar with them as sheepheads. And yes, they are delicious if prepared properly. On restaurant menus, they're often called bay snappers. Prepare them by filleting and then trim off any red meat from the fillets. It's the tasty white meat that you want to bake or grill. 
Now for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. Our fishing location was near Lafitte, Louisiana, about 35 miles south of the Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport. We highly recommend today's fantastic guide, Tofield Bourgeois of Bourgeois Fishing Charters. And accommodations were generously provided by the beautiful Cajun Vista Inn in nearby Bataria, Louisiana. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.